Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now you guys might notice that this isn't labeled like, this isn't number, numerically labeled. And the reason for that is because this episode isn't really going to be fo story focused. Uh, since we're about 10 parts in now, and I've probably played several hours of the story by now, I kind of just want to dedicate some time to doing some of the open world stuff. Which is part of the reason why I got the game. Of course, it does have a pretty good story, but I also want to get into the really good stuff, which is that open world stuff like, you know, what you pretty much play GTA 5 for and all those types of games. First of all, let's talk to, uh, I guess, Karen over here. Good day, Mr. Morgan. You okay? <laughs> She's <laughs> talking to somebody else. She's going through a rough time of it. <laughs> yeah. Ladies. Let's talk to Mary Beth. Okay, yeah, so uh, enough with that. But anyway, of course, if we're going to be doing some open world stuff, exactly what are we going to do? That's the question. What are we going to do in this video? And I've kind of been thinking. Now, at first I was kind of thinking maybe we should think of some really, really weird ways. I guess... Very, very intriguing ways to kill people. And now, now that I think about that, well, I was thinking about that before the video, but I was thinking that, of course, since this game does have a, like, it does check your morality. Like, it does, mo it knows your morality, basically. It knows whether or not you're a really bad person or a really good person. And based off of why or how you kill people or if you're ever caught, like, all that stuff depends, that determines, you know, how good your morals are. And, of course, we don't want to be morally bad, so we're going to try and avoid that. But, however, I did, oh, crap, sorry, but I did, oh, crap, progress. I, I haven't been on this in a while, guys. It's probably been like two weeks or something since I've played on this console so it I've, I've just been a little rusty so I'm sorry for uh, if I was messing up with the menu and all that so challenges okay now that there's the compendium and the challenge and the total completion basically this progress menu here kinda kinda gives us something to do if you know what I mean like you know if for some reason if you get bored in this game like this will give you things to do and so now that I think about it, there's the bandit, which we haven't actually accomplished any of those yet. We've done one from Explorer. I don't know how we haven't done the herbalist, because we've already found some herbs. So, I mean, I don't know exactly what, we're, what we need to do for that. But, of course, we... I'll craft tonics to unlock the medicinal properties of various herbs. Okay, so the properties, not just collecting them. But I'm thinking that for this video, we do the bandit challenge. We do a couple, break the law in as many ways as we can. So instead of killing people, we're going to break the law. And, of course, that's not morally bad, especially if we're not doing anything to harm anyone. Because usually when it comes down to just blatantly murdering people, that is when you're morally pretty bad. But in this situation, it doesn't seem to be that way. Because, of course... Well, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I don't think it would affect morality a whole lot if, like, there's, if there's a challenge on here. I mean, unless there's something about killing people on here, and then, you know, you just gotta choose that horseman, break every horse breed. Yeah, we've gotten into two so far. Weapons expert, master the most challenging weapons in your arsenal, dynamite, dynamite fire bottles. Throwing weapons and knives, develop your skills against enemies and while there. Okay, so yeah, it's not just any random person, but when you come into actual important conflict. Okay. So, I think in this video we're going... I Yeah, I think we're going to try and rob a train. Because we have done that in this game, but we haven't like... Oh my gosh. But we haven't done that as in like we were... Uh, We haven't done that on our own free time yet. Like, we haven't tried to do it as kind of a side mission, but we've only done it in the story missions. 
So today, I think that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to uh, rob a train. So once I get to the train tracks, okay, I guys, see so the guys, reason why I'm reporting there. back to you without actually being at the uh, train tracks. Because there's some kind of event going on out here. I think I need to see what's going on. You interested in a little friendly competition? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Why don't we find out? Oh, let's go. Good. Yeah, plenty of money. I really wish we still had the sniper rifle. Well, I believe we had one in this game. I don't know if we have one. Okay. Okay. Go. That's pretty clear, bud. Already got two. Three. Four. Guess that explains it. I'm brand new. It's hard lines, partner. Wait, Here's what? An idea. What do you say we raise the stakes? What do you say we raise the stakes? You're on. Well, that's oh, what I like let's to hear. go. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four oh, birds yeah, out of the sky gun. before me. You we'll call it a day. We'll All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. Right, you can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. I hope so too. Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So this guy uh, now wants his money. I was, I was actually having some very evil thoughts about maybe taking this guy out or maybe giving him the money and then shooting him right back. But I think since we actually made a deal with this guy and he's not just trying to make a quick buck off of us. I mean, he is, but in a way he actually deserved it. He's not trying to, like, sell us some scam like that one guy did. That I believe I showed you guys. I, yeah, I killed him and then I got actually 10... I actually got 60 extra cents back from what I gave him. So that was crazy to think. So yeah, I, I think we're just going to stick with giving him the money, and I don't think we're going to shoot him or anything. He he deserves the money. We'll give it to him. Here. He rightfully it. want it so he can have it. Until All right, man. Round, I suppose. You could be on your way. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah, until the next good round. Shot. Yep, what I tell you. Yeah, either that or I can't shoot worth a crap, but I mean, those birds were not easy to get. They were some fast ones. Especially with the latency of this hole. But yeah, anyway, enough of the procrastination. I will see you guys once I get to the train tracks I have stuck my waypoint at.
Guys, it looks like we just cannot stop running into something. And something I would just like to note. That uh, why I went back to camp, first of all, was because Arthur, I did, Arthur did get a few uh, wild turkeys. So I made sure he returned them to camp for the stew. And speaking of stew, Arthur is actually very underweight right now. So I need, so he probably needed that, uh, he probably needed all that food I just gave him. So he should be filled up now. He's probably still underweight, but, uh... <laughs> I'm going to have to start showing up to more of those noon stews that they have because the stew is usually prepared by noon and that's when they eat. So I need to be prepared to be there at that time. But unfortunately, the thing that I we don't get to find out, of course, in this game at, at any given time is exactly what time it is. I'm not always sure what time it is because there are no clocks in this game. And I think there are tiny up, ones like wind-up clocks or, Please. yeah, wind-up clocks. But, this I mean, other crazy. than that, I don't Just really think the there's shackles. another way to One tell time unless you're all. entering a certain region. But, anyway, there is a, a blue dot on the map, which indicates that there's some kind of interaction that can happen. So, let's see what this guy has to uh, oh, do. God. Oh, I've waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or. Well, Wait. You know, I might have something. Hey, this dude's a prisoner. Fell on the chain line, jawed on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of. Oh, Rose, you want the shot? You the want river. the shackle shot? I'm sure, I'm the right okay. person for this sort of information. I ain't Let's saying see. nothing. Do with it what you will. Bam. Oh. All right. Yeah, guys, I was about to shoot this guy to death after I let the shackles go after he said he wasn't going to give us any money because this guy is a criminal and he did do some things wrong. Since he was kind of offering to give us some stuff, I think I'm just going to let him go. I mean, I could still just chase after him on my horse and kill him, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think just like the other guy, he rightfully deserved what he got. So... I'm going to let him go. Well, maybe the prisoner didn't, but he was offering us something. So that's good enough in my book. So enough with that. No more lying or deceiving, you guys. I will be at the train tracks. Okay, guys. This is absolutely freaking insane. Now, this is like the third time I've ran into one of these encounters where there's a blue dot on the map. Literally, there was a guy... Or there was a prisoner earlier who wanted to be free. There was a guy who wanted to bottle shoot with me. And now there's somebody being kidnapped. So now there's this is the third time. And I'm not very far from the location I want to be at. So I might as well just not cut anything out for the, uh, for the remaining time that I spend getting there. Basically, my microphone now. I'm speaking to you guys. So, yeah, let's go help this guy being kicked out. Yeah, I feel this guy's being kidnapped for real. What the heck did I do? Not very dumb. I want to help this man. Oh, I don't want to take his hat, though. Yeah, man, sure. Sure, I'll get you off. Remove the stranger. Ah, oh, remove him. Remove the guy. Drop him. We can literally just drop him off a bridge and kill him, but we're going to cut him free.
I'm not after you. Dude, calm down. I'm gonna loot this guy, though. Seems like he's pretty evil. He's like an O'Driscoll, pretty much, so we might as well rob him. And while we're at it, oh, he's a bounty hunter. Oh, crap. Take him back to our horse and let's drop him off a bridge. That bridge could be more of after. A bridge. Let's just hurry up, man. Even though there's big guys on him. Oh, crap. He's pointless. Whatever. Let's just leave him. I was going to drop him off a bridge, but I mean, that's almost pointless because I'm carrying my own gear. Nope. Not staying right the heck anywhere, boy. What, what are you talking about? I'm getting away from you. Wow, I, if I realized that guy was a bounty hunter before, I would, I don't even think I would have even bothered to mess with him. Maybe I was helping a criminal out. Okay, guys, I don't know if we can go any faster. We're not losing these guys. We need to get to a more wooded area. Man, he's getting close. Shoot him! Shoot the guy that's maybe right in front of you. Gosh, we're gonna die, aren't we? Yeah, I knew it. We're gonna die. We're freaking gonna die. Oh, our horse is about to die. We're about to die. Think am I talking about? Miracle Tonic. Drink. That horse is back to life. Ah, oh, pick it up. That horse is spooked. We're screwed. Yeah, our horse is leaving us behind. We're dead. Don't let us take anything. It's because we have this thing on our back. Yeah, I'm making a run for it. Heck. And I'm dead. Man. At least my horse got away, but it was a bit selfish. Man, I was just trying to help that guy out. And now here I am in a situation where the bounty hunters are now after me. Hopefully what I looted is still there. Lost 16 bucks. We're over 300 now, though. Oh, look. Hey, there's train tracks here. Wait. That's not very far from... I know I have my waypoint all the way up here. I think I have my waypoint way too close to uh, Valentine. I just wanted to have it somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. So I was thinking about right there, but maybe an intersection isn't the way to go. Since we're already out here, in the middle of the mountains, we might as well just stay out here. That sucks though. I think we still have the meat though that we got from it. Yeah, those are. For some reason, I thought those were uh, the crosses that the KKK used, but no, that's actually a. That's actually a power pole, whatever you call them. They're not telephone poles because there ain't no such thing as a to Well, uh, I don't know. I don't quite know. I mean, I know they existed, but I don't know how frequently they were used. Yep. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's use the tonic. I was really meaning to check out, though. Because I'm pretty sure we got some new vets in me, so we're back up to five. What's this down? Holy crap, we just found a freaking dinosaur bone. Holy crap. Well, I didn't know in the middle of nowhere you could just find that. I thought you literally had to dig them up. Oh, wow, so there's 30 of these things just scattered around the entire map. Wow, see, that's what I like about Red Dead Redemption, though. It has a lot of cool Easter eggs. I think the first one did as well. Probably not as much as the second did. Because the first one won't beat this one, even though that one is... I guess more recent. The thing is, I didn't want John. I didn't want to bring John the horse here. John, I didn't want to bring John Marston the horse here along because I was actually gonna. 
What is that? Whatever it is, it ain't gonna survive for much longer. I think it's a fox. Looks like one. And since he decided to hang around, he's gonna meet his maker. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure this guy meets his maker. Bam. There we go. There's another person trying to talk, actually. And this is a coyote. Oh. I don't think we've actually ran in any yet. We're not, we're not gonna uh, skin this one, though. I skinned some of them, but I, I, I don't think I'm gonna skin this one. I don't know if we've killed a coyote yet. I'll say I hate killing animals in general because in real life, I'm actually against most of this stuff, but... Hey, I realize at the end of the day, it's a video game. What the heck? Is that the guy talking to me? Or trying to say something? There was a guy that said, oh, for the love of it, you know? Is that him? Come on now, boy. Yeah, whatever, let's just leave him. I thought he said something. Maybe I should just let it go because it wasn't important. The reason I went back to camp to dispose of the animal, though, was because I reels I'm committing a crime, so the bounty will probably be coming after me. Or should I say the, the bounty hunters will be coming after me after I'm caught for the crime I'm doing. So whatever. Screw it. I'm just, I think we're just going to have our horse sit in front of it. I don't know how smart that is, but we're just going to wait for a train to show up. As boring as that sounds, we are just going to wait for a train to appear here. And once it does, we're either going to follow it or stop it or something. Because whatever we can do to just hop on that train and start looting the thing, we are going to do it. Because I think I've been so focused on the story, I haven't gotten into what cool stuff there could actually be in this game and the cool stuff you can do in the game I mean yeah I've ran into KKK meetings and already found a couple of the murder mystery clues but I haven't done anything as I haven't done like the challenges or any of the outside of mission stuff it helped to know which direction the train would be coming from as well right now I'm just going to probably dumbfully not dumbfully is a very bad word but I'm just going to more than likely wrongfully assume that this is the way it's going to come from. And well, we're just going to keep going until we find a train to run. Because like it says, we need to commit a crime in every way possible. I mean, the next thing we could probably do is go to Valentine and rob a store. Because I mean, in roads, we can't really do anything. Because we're not allowed to have our weapons there. So in Valentine, I'd imagine just holding up a gun, and that's how it would go. Can I go in here, actually, this room? No, I don't care about the guy here. Oh, I can. Just can vegetable. I think I hear a train, though. I hope I hear a train. But we're going to take everything we can before we leave. Oh, wait. Structure. Inspect. Oh, he's going to like... He's going to document it on his little journal. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can remember this building for life. Why would someone just have a place set up right there, though? It's out in the middle of nowhere. And there's not even a path to it. Yep. Now we're just patiently waiting for a train to come. Uh, guys, I don't want this video to be too long because, of course, this isn't really a story-based video. Now, if we were doing story, those videos usually, because I will add stuff in like this, 
I'll try to make, it'll be about an hour and a half, two hours even, sometimes two and a half hours. But of course, for these types of videos, I try to keep them short and sweet, because really, I just try to keep the fo the main focus on one thing, and that's doing, of course, robbing the train, so. Okay, I'm actually getting a little bored. Find the train for goodness sake. Not find one at this time of night. I felt like I've heard them forever. I don't really know which way they come into Valentine by, but Mister, we just need to find to a train to hop on top of. Well, to hop on, not on top of, but on. Hey, look. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Wait, what the freak? The anyway. if you can get in that okay, box, this is important. Oh, there's something going on over there. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Oh, I've been told. Hey, he fell off. I think he fell off that cliff. Oh yeah, that dude. Whew. He had a heck of a death. Alright, thank you. That's a very good deal. And I'm gonna loot these guys. What, just get in here? Oh, these are Driscoll's. Okay, so they hate us. Carbon repeater. I would like that carbon repeater. Oh, damn, I'm hitting the wrong thing. The carbon repeater right here. Ow, whoa. Holy crap. I didn't think the thing was that cranky. I was just trying to get between. It bucked my hat off. You're all free to go. Sorry if I get in your way or make you angry. I won't get in your way anymore. You're free to go. Now, flee. I'll be free. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. First of all, yeah, I do want to loot this guy, even if he was innocently robbed. Oh, gosh. Thought you said. Here's our opportunity. Let's go. There's the train. Oh, maybe we can wait for it. Maybe we can, well, not wait for it, but follow it. Yeah, let's do that, guys. Let's follow this freaking thing. Okay, actually, let's try it from here. Yep, and it worked. Oh gosh. <laughs> Robbing a train by myself ain't that easy. Oh gosh, get the rest of up.
get the satchel out. Mirror moonshine. What? Freaking moonshine. Yeah, whatever. Drink the guam or um. Kill this guy. Bam, there we go. Can we just pick up my hat now? I just want my hat. Gosh darn it. Whatever. I just want my hat. Whatever, let's go. Oh gosh, wrong hat. Whatever, let's go. Drive it. Let's go. Get out of here. I, I'm driving this thing. Let's go. Let's go. I'm driving this sucker now. I'm out of here. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm out of here. Goodbye. Good riddance. Is that guy on the freaking train? Oh, that guy's on the train. You know what? We're gonna stop this thing. We're gonna get out. Oh. You done? Okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Drive this sucker. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. No one else is on the train. Let's just get out, Arthur. Hurry. Let's go. Okay, okay, we can use this. Celery. Whatever, the can's wheat corn, whatever, let's eat it. Let's eat it. We're getting out. We're getting out of here. I don't know how freaking far they think they're gonna follow us. We're gonna try our best to get out of here. Our horse is loyally following us. I love our horse, man. Our horse is freaking loyal. Whatever, we have to do whatever we can to just get away from them and lose them. So that's what we're going to do. Guys, I don't know what to say. This is crazy being the first time I've solely robbed this. I thought I was going to get killed several times. I thought I was just dead. But thankfully that wasn't the case, and I think they might be off our case at this point. Okay, we're actually getting on this bridge, that might be the perfect time. Yeah, so we're on this bridge, so we're still pretty high up. So, wow, I think we freaking got away with that, guys. I mean, our horse followed us, and that sucker John is loyal, so thank you, my man, John, I guess. Now let's see what this train has for us. Let's see what it has. I can't believe I actually picked his hat up by accident. Okay, so let's loot. These guys better have something valuable. That's all I'm gonna say. Something about oh gosh, don't tell me they're catch they're gonna follow us again. What kind of rifle? What kind of gun is that? Whatever. Let's pick up the repeater. Let's pick it up. Are there passengers on here still? I don't think there are any. But there is stuff we can rob out of these drawers, I think. Once the robbery has started, passengers that you have not yet robbed in the car, you are currently and will be marked on the radar. So I don't think there are any. And surprisingly enough, I think we are passenger free. There are some papers there. We should pick those up. If we can. Yeah, this is quite the experience. I I didn't see I didn't see us actually getting away with that. I thought that I was gonna die, seriously. But why to rob this train solo? That that is crazy and amazing to think that I got away with that. 
I know you guys probably aren't shocked as you've probably seen many people do it, but for me, I am shocked that under all that pressure I was able to get away with it. So there doesn't seem to be too much value. Well, I'll keep doing my search and I'll let you guys know in part 11.